Hey, and welcome back. Now we are starting our next, oh, it says heat and temperature behind here. Sorry about that. Heat and temperature less than one. Um, using energy from heat. So as you can see, I went a little meme crazy. This is really important. To understand chemistry, you have to understand energy. And to understand energy, you have to understand heat. So some questions that I want you to think about over the next little bit. How many kinds of energies are there? Technology and heat, how do they work together? And how does heat move? And how are heat and temperature related? So some science vocabulary, working definitions that we're going to be using a lot in the next eight weeks, actually, um, is energy is the ability to do work and cause change, chemical or physical. And heat is thermal energy transferred from one object to another substance to another because of temperature. Don't know what that says, but I'll move it. <laughs> later. Anyways, so just looking at the forms of energy, so we have energy as a whole. You have to think of it as kinetic and potential. So potential is when it's stored. So if I were to take a textbook and put it on the top of the shelf, there's stored energy in it because I used energy and I did work to put the book up on the shelf. It stays there. As soon as someone pushes it off, that potential energy is released. So kinetic energy is energy of movement. Kin kinesiology is the study of movement, what you can do if you want to be a phys ed person. Um, so kinetic energy is the energy of movement. So we can get energy in thermal energy, mechanical energy, electrical energy, and magnetic energy. Energy can also be released to sound and light energy. Um, and chemical energy, elastic energy, nuclear energy, and gravitational energy. Um, maybe just to think about this is you have fire. So fire, the energy of fire that's stored in wood is released as light that, that we see and sound. So types of energy, nice little acronym for you, melts. So mechanical, electrical, light, thermal, and sound. That should help you later on. So when we talk about heat technology, heat is used for, by humans, cooking food. So we have stoves to fires. So you have to think of the technological progression as we went from cooking on fires to now we cook on stoves. Um, also for warmth, humans need warmth. We don't really produce our own heat very well or we lose it very easily. So fires and shelters, also clothing, something to think about. So early heating technology, so we made some fire and then we got the Romans. They used to build these channels underneath floors. And then we were able to bring the fire in the house and heat the house. So they had chimneys, but they had to get rid of the smoke, so they made the chimneys. Um, and then we have cast iron. So it kind of holds the heat, and then it releases it gently, whereas if you have an open fire, it's just like pfft, all over the place. Um, central heating, yay! Forced air and then electrical heaters. And they have, like, those new technologies of the nest, where you can actually change the heat in your house from not being in your house. Very cool. Um, increase in technology, increase in ability to control heat. So we went from fire to Instapot. <laughs> um, other heat technologies, so we got hair dryer, oven mitts, kettle, solar panel, survival chute for the ocean, Galileo's um, thermometer, geothermal energy, there's electrical and kettle, um, electrical thermometer, microwave, mini heater, air conditioning, um, traditional Canadian tire, Fahrenheit, Celsius, um, soldering iron, like even the cozy on the kettle is heat technology. And then we have solar ovens, and thermometer, and refrigerator, and electrical heat. And then this thing, oh, I really want one of these. It is a 
um, it's like a gun. You can point to something and it'll tell you the temperature of it. And then dryers. If you have any questions, please let me know, but that's a wrap.